Now let's review all of the graph pathfinding algorithms that we've um, handled so far, that we've covered so far. We started out with a graph connectedness algorithm. What this told us is, does a path exist from between any two specified nodes? So it's really important to run this algorithm first. Because if a path does exist, you don't want to go starting off one of these more complicated algorithms. And this is a fairly cheap um, algorithm to do. So you can do it once as soon as you create your graph, and then you never have to do it again. That's just a good idea. So continuing on, we went to depth first algorithms. And this was from when we had one source node and one target destination node. But it was kind of slow, and it did not support edge weights. The reason we covered it, though, is because there are a lot of other applications in game development and in mathematics in general that use depth-first searches. So I wanted to, I wanted you to have a clear idea of what it was because you see it a lot. Then we look at breadth-first search. We were looking from a single source node to all connected destinations. Or you could reverse this. You could have one destination and see how to get to it from every node. They're really the same thing. So an example of how you might use this is a tower defense game where all of the enemies are trying to get to the player's fortress at no matter what point they start from. That would be a single destination from any source node. But this algorithm didn't support edge weights. But Dijkstra did. Yes. And it's the same as um, breadth first search. You can either have one source and figure out how to get to all destinations from that source tile, or you can do it the other way around. You can have one destination, figure out how to get to all source tiles. Figure out all paths to that source file. And finally we covered A star, A star, which in addition to being super fast, only supports one source node and one destination node. Because in order to create the heuristic, we had to know which destination node to compare to. So we lose the ability to go from one source to all destination, or all sources to one destination. We can only go from one source to one destination, but it's much faster and we retain compatibility for edge weights. So that sums it up. Uh, join me next week when we are going to talk about one of my favorite subjects, calculus. It's going to be fun. I swear. <laughs>